You're listening to Short Inspirations from Ralph. Exposed to the Elements, Part 3. Amongst all the beauty of life, the sun rises, the sun sets, the beautiful vistas, the cry of a newborn baby, the incredible outpouring of his grace and his love, despite us walking away from him. The psalmist says in Psalm 145, verse 16, You open your hand and you satisfy the desire of every living being. It comes from his hand. But alongside all of God's blessing and outpouring, there's that saying that many of us have heard, there are no guarantees in life, and that is so true. Things can so easily pop up against us in this fractured world in which we live. Since the beginning of time, man has spent so much energy and time and money and effort into keeping themselves safe. We clothe ourselves to keep warm in the cold. We medicate ourselves to ward off sicknesses and disease. We try and defeat old age and death but can't do it. We build forts and we carry weapons against enemies and people that would like to destroy us. It is ongoing in a fallen, fractured world. In America, there is the FDA, which is the United States Food and Drug Administration. And their job is to keep us healthy and to ensure that what we eat and drink doesn't make us sick or kill us. This organization has an annual budget of $6.5 billion and in the States employs 18,000 people. That's back in 2022. And so it has to make rules about food. For example, apple butter. If the mold count is 12% or more, or if it averages four rodent hairs per 100 grams or more, or it averages five or more whole insects, that's not counting mites, aphids, or scale insects per 100 grams, they will pull it from the shelves. Otherwise, the stuff will go straight onto your muffins. Coffee beans will get withdrawn from the market if an average of 10% or more are insect infested, or if there is one live insect in each of the two or more immediate containers. And I can understand that People just don't want too many live insects in their coffee beans. One container is okay, but not any more. Fig paste. If there are more than 13 insect heads per 100 grams of fig paste in each of two or more sub-samples, then the FDA will toss out the whole batch. Apparently the bodies are okay, but not the heads. Mushrooms. They can't be sold if there's an average of 20 or more maggots of any size per 15 grams of dried mushrooms. So we have learnt a lot over time, over thousands of years, to be more physically safe, how to protect our bodies. But I don't think we understand or we don't think very often about what makes the soul safe. And as we've said before, your soul, my soul, is the deepest and most important part of who you are. And when I've talked before about being exposed to the elements, yes, we've mentioned physical deterioration and mental deterioration goes along with that. But really, the crux of the matter is the soul. That's that part that we form a relationship with others with. That's the part that was severed in the greatest catastrophe in history when man decided to walk their own way. It was a relationship, a soul relationship, that was broken. And one of our soul's most fundamental needs is the need for security, the need to be safe. And as we said before, he hasn't left us alone. He is still pursuing us. He still wants that relationship back with us and we serve a God who loves us so much 
He knew us before we were born. He lovingly sculpted us with all the stages of our lives spread out before him. He's not going to discard us at a whim. He's going to chase us down and go after us. And even, yes, die for us. But we see that the real source of insecurity and lack of safety is not a function of anything else, but it's a function of the soul. And the greatest thing that you can do in your lifetime for your soul is to give it to God. Give it back to the one who gave it to you. Give it to him. Open your heart and say, Lord, you can have everything about me, body, soul and spirit. God bless you today.